Hello everyone and welcome back. Today I'm excited to share with you our IKEA kitchen review. We decided to renovate this house that we're living in and one of the things that was really important to me was the kitchen. It was very dark before. Um, I just felt that the cabinets underneath were not the best use of space and so I was excited to you know put my touch on this and one of the kitchens that I've loved for a few years now has been one that I've seen at Ikea and so what was important to me was that all of the aspects of that kitchen that I loved I was able to get here when we got this kitchen so one of those things was lighting I feel like they can really sell you a kitchen just based on lighting but the kitchen is not the same when you get it installed if you do not opt for that so for me that was a must and I am so happy that we chose to go that route and actually um, we ran into a few hiccups along the way and especially with uh, when we had them help us design it I I thought I remember telling her about the lighting and whatnot but it was something that I think within the drawers and stuff, um, the lady that was helping us, she didn't put that in our order. And so that was kind of like a while we were going through the process of getting the kitchen installed, our installer let us know that those lights were not included. So at first I said, well, forget about it. But then my husband said, no, this is what it was that you wanted, we're going, if we're gonna spend all this money, we might as well make it the way that we want it. So I am very happy that he put his foot down about that and we went out to Ikea, got all the lights that we needed to make it just how it was in the showroom and that is one of the things that I love. I just love lights. I love the undermounted lights. I love the lights inside of the cabinets as well as the ones within the drawers and within the cabinets themselves. So I hope that you guys enjoy seeing this. We did a whole Fixer Upper series for this house. We're still not done with it and I do plan to continue that in 2019. So do stay tuned for that. If you have not subscribed to my channel yet and you would like to see more videos where we share our reviews on those things that we get or just, uh, you know, the fun of family with our fixer upper and organization. Those are kind of the things that I tend to uh, gravitate towards and cleaning stuff along those lines. Please be sure to subscribe so you don't miss any of those uploads and let's get into this video. Some of the things that I liked most about this were the sink, 
how it's a solid sink, how we don't have the divider. It gives you a lot of extra room. On this countertop that we did, we got full bull nose and it's an undermount sink. And on this, it's really great because on the edge here, you don't get a bunch of buildup of anything and the caulking doesn't get exposed, it doesn't peel out. This is an Amazon faucet that we found because Ikea didn't have what we were looking for. Now this countertop, it's a quartz countertop, so it's actually stronger than granite and it's stronger than Corian and it doesn't need to be sealed. It's actually, it's, it's a bunch of stone ground up and glued together, so it's very durable. I still, they say you can cut on it as a cutting board. We still don't like to, we have regular cutting boards for that. Now, when it came to the cabinets, my wife liked this glass look. She's been asking me for this stuff for 15 years since I've met her. So, we really like how you can see all the, all the stuff in through the cabinets. The lights filter through the glass. They're all glass shelves. And it's just a really neat design. It's if you want to showcase your pieces. So on these doors, they do um they don't slam, they have the soft close. That's really nice. It's it's on all it's on everything. So that's really nice, especially when you have kids. Right here we have a dishwasher. which is beautifully integrated with a cabinet front to seamlessly give you that old style kitchen feel. I feel like this is a country style kind of a kitchen. It's, it just really makes it feel open and we actually raised the ceiling a foot here to get to make more space for the cabinets. This range vents all the way to the outside. So that's really been a big plus because my wife was really against me cooking bacon inside, but with this, it really, it helps them get all that. It doesn't let the, the air linger and get stale in here. What we have here is an induction cooktop. This is electric and it's, it's, I really am happy with this cooktop. There's a, the original electric cooktops, it was an, a, an element that heated through the glass. So the whole entire glass would get really hot on the, the original electric cooktops. But this is induction, so what that means is that it connects directly through the glass with the pan. And on this, there's a little element on here that tells you that it's induction. So you have to get specific pots and pans for this cooktop. And it is actually unbelievable how fast this heats up. It was. It's really, it really is amazing. I, I love to cook on this because you can really control the heat. It's almost, I compare it to, to using gas in the controlling of the heat. Now also with this, it, it boils water like 50, 53% faster than gas. So it's really, it's really, really fast. And we're really happy with that, happy with that. And the thing with this induction cooktop is that the glass doesn't get all stained the, the way it does on original electric the oven here it's just a normal oven it's not a, a convection oven we just wanted to keep it simple with the oven we don't do a, a terrible amount of baking but the girls love to bake cookies and stuff we keep it kind of simple and uh we weren't really looking for anything fancy on this but it does everything that your normal oven can do <laughs> over here this is this is what actually one of the neater things that i, I really like about this kitchen is we were able to put the microwave down low. This is just a regular microwave and it works exactly as a as a countertop microwave or over the stove microwave. And the reason that we wanted it low is because we have young children still and when they make soups or anything hot, they're able to reach it all. They can come down here, heat it up and they pull it out under their head. So if, if anything falls, they're not gonna really get hurt. So we really love that the microwave's down there. It's actually been very convenient. It opens up the rest of your area aesthetically to not have the the microwave over the stove. So that's really, it's really nice. It's not in your face all the time, you know? So we really wanted to keep, because we don't have a large kitchen, we wanted to keep it really open. So we went with the full light package. We pretty much put lights anywhere that they can go. So they're in all the drawers. When you open the drawer, there's a sensor right at the end here that turns off, turns the light on and off. 
And so every single drawer has these lights. And at first it was kind of silly to me in my head, but it's really been nice because you can really see everything that when it's dark or the lights are really dim, you can see everything you're looking for. And it, is, it really adds a nice warm feel to the kitchen. One thing that was really important to my wife about this kitchen was that she wanted drawers instead of cabinet doors. So this is your traditional cabinet. So we went with drawers pretty much everywhere we could. And the reason for this is, is that it really optimizes your space. Because if you, if you were to think about it, if these were regular doors here, we would only be able to use so much of the space. So with the drawers, it really, it really, we're able to use all the space. And we have a smaller kitchen here, so that was very important. So pretty much anywhere where there could be a drawer, there is. And this really frees up a lot of space. You can actually, I'm actually surprised at how we can keep our pans and our all our cooking stuff inside these drawers and it really works out well. Over here we have our fridge and we got this fridge from Ikea. We actually got all of the appliances from Ikea. And the reason we did that was because we wanted to keep it simple. We wanted to keep everything on one ticket, so to say. Now up here, this cabinet that usually goes up here, this one doesn't actually have an option for lights. But I'm kind of handy and I went to Ikea myself and I installed these lights and I just ran them through the back and hooked them up to the, the rest of my lighting. So when the cabinet lights come on, these come on. Now these are actually on all the time, but it doesn't, there's a little light in this crack, but it doesn't bother us. It's just really nice to, to just, this is kind of just overhead storage. It's nice to be able to go up there and be able to see without, without it being dark in there. So my final thoughts about this kitchen is that we really enjoy it. We think it was worth the money. It was very, it was a, a good investment. At first I was against doing it because I still felt like it was a lot of money, but the size of our kitchen isn't very large and we were, we were able to do the upgrades that we wanted without it being too much. So we're really thankful, really grateful for the way it came out. We actually used the installation of Ikea and they were great. They worked, they worked with us with our schedule and it just really came out, came out good. So we definitely think it was worth it. Thank you all so much for watching. I really hope that you enjoyed this. Again, please be sure to subscribe if you are new, and until next time, I hope that you all take care and have a beautiful day. Bye, everyone.